Well, I figured since I come across this kind of stuff so often and uh, indeed cycle through so many guitars, I might as well start making uh, videos about some of the stuff I find. Oh, there's a cat. But uh, yeah, this was a Craigslist one. Uh, beautiful case, uh, original hard sell case as far as we can tell. But there she blows. 1981, as far as I can tell, Washburn A20 model. It's kind of based on like an Explorer or the Ibanez Destroyer. But look at that. We got kind of like almost like an inverted sunburst finish. We've got these sort of, um, I think these are branded as being Washburn Power Sustain pickups. They're basically like a, like a DiMarzio Super Distortion or something like that. Ceramic mag, as far as I can tell. Uh, so, I mean, relatively hot output pickups from the, uh, what is this? I think this is the Matsumoko factory. Not quite sure how you pronounce that. But, um, yeah, I, I believe these are just uh, pickups designed kind of like the, the Super Distortion. We've got these really cool... Um, sort of circle brass inlays on a very nice rosewood board actually that's quite a slab of rosewood uh explorer sort of hockey stick headstock this is a horrible string job on this though um the guy i bought it from obviously was not a not a professional but um one of the coolest things about this guitar is the truss rod cover and the back plates which i'll show you in a minute are all made of wood and especially the ones in the back are stained quite beautifully we've got a um sort of a hardtail uh, bridge here with brass saddles, you know, it's a well made, you know, you got a three-way switch, obviously your bridge, your middle, your uh, your neck position. And then what's cool about this is you got the individual tone and volume controls, but uh, the volume pots pop open so you can do uh, split coils. And because these are wound relatively hot, they actually sound, uh, I wouldn't say super authentic, but they sound pretty good for a split coil. But... My favorite thing about this guitar, which I don't think I've mentioned yet, is that, yes, it is neck through. And look at that. We've got beautiful, deep cherry red stain on this guitar. And I gotta say, it's pretty freaking nice. The tuners are solid. They work well. Got sort of like a marker in serial number. Two-piece mahogany neck with a, uh, I believe it's a mahogany, uh, actually no, I believe this is maple, actually, not mahogany, but with the, uh, the skunk stripe. And it's just, it's just, it's gorgeous. I mean, really gorgeous guitar. You got your tummy cut, kind of explorer type shape. But no, it's really uh, quite, quite good. And I've checked under the control cavity. Actually, the routing's done pretty well. And uh, just standard kind of push-pull pots, nothing too crazy in there. But yeah, I mean, it's a remarkable find. We got a little uh, nick at the top corner of the guitar that I'm probably gonna have a guy take a look at and repair, but uh, especially for what I paid for this guitar, <laughs> it's nothing really to worry about. 125 bucks on Craigslist I paid for this, and no, I'm not making that up. You could barely buy a Squire Bullet at Guitar Center for what I paid for this guitar, so people say good deal's dead. I'm gonna have to argue on that. I mean, yeah, the pawn shops and stuff, everyone looks shit online nowadays so it's harder and harder to get a good deal but every once in a while you come across something that's pretty damn cool for a really good price mostly it's because uh the guy who listed this had the model number wrong so he didn't really know what he had and another thing you know broken thing on the case like i said what is that like a tape glue it with something i mean like 125 bucks i mean for one finished flaw and the thing's in great condition otherwise and a freaking broken latch I would have gladly paid $400 for this, had it fixed up and shit. They're on freaking reverb. There's one right now that's completely trashed for $1,200. It won't sell, but I mean, shit. So yeah, this one's probably going to be a keeper. I mean, for $125, it plays really nice. It got a pretty, I'd say a medium thickness neck profile with a pretty flat board. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It plays almost like uh, the Gibson Explorers I've tried, but I just wanted to make a video of this one. So, yep. Until next time.